Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the Killery here. Welcome to a video, and this is an upgrade video to my latest custom skin installation video. Um, because the other one had a bad quality, so sorry for that. But now I do a new recording and with better quality. And yeah, so what we do now in this tutorial is we download and install custom skins, um, convert a Vuxi skin into the fa Phantom format, and we create then the custom skins in Phantom. Okay, so now what we do is we download Phantom and LOL custom skin tools. And yeah, what you need to do is go into the links, these are in the description of course. And if you go into that, click on Phantom, download it. And I download it now into my um, tutorial folder. Also for a little custom skin tools. And after that, we have booth in here, and now we can extract them with ZemZip or WinMar, whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, so deal with them. Now we are ready to go. Okay, so now we go into Phantom, and now we can see this in here. Just click on phantom now you need to select your path if you go into this folder and then you need to search for your right games folder and then select league of legends and you're ready to go okay so it can take a bit maybe um, yeah just wait and then we are ready to go to install custom skins. So what we do now is we go into this, uh, go to this button and click on edit mod. So what we do now is we need to load custom skins in a zip format. I have my own um, in my Dropbox all in here, but I can show you where it is on the internet um, I copy that so this will be also in the description um, this includes 600 skins um, announce the champions fonts maps also recovered from ma map skins and uh, other sites and yeah so what we do is we just download a skin from here um, I do it now directly over my PC so I go now into champions and I select now a random skin let's see um, just we we use no Xaya. Uh, so now we need to wait It will take a bit for map skins it can take a bit more and yeah so but for normal champions it just take a few seconds and after that it should be installed you can deinstall the skin if you click on this button and um, you can install it with that you can delete the skin if you press this button but i will not do that right now and yeah so we installed now a league of legends a custom skin and we are ready to go in game okay so we are now in game and you can see the skin worked completely perfect in the game and uh, yeah so now what we do is we create and port um, all the skins into Phantom and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the next step is we want to port Vuxi files into, the, into Phantom. 
and what I did is I downloaded a, a Vuxi file Ghost Taker Rim on box scans right now and yeah so this is the Vuxi file what we do is we need to go into the load custom skin tools folder and in there we have Vuxi extract just drag and drop the Vuxi file into it and just deny that and click OK now we get a folder named Ghost Taker Rim version 1 by unknown. What we do is now is we check um, if all is correct. So we have the assets folder in here, we have characters and art skins and this looks completely fine. Um, sometimes you can have lol game is that our folder name and Perfect. also data for champions you normally you need an assets folder and for maps you need assets data and levels and yeah there are some other ones um, but it's probably too much for that but for, for champions you only need uh, assets folder so this is commonly correct and now we can install this skin into Phantom. Okay, so the next part is um, we need to look for Phantom so this will be minimized automatically. And now you can see we're in Phantom and then what, what we do is we create a mod. Now we need the name first of all, it's named Ghost Hikarim. Author is unknown and version is 1.0. You can see that we had red ones if you if we use version 1. Um, it tells that we need to use 1.0 format. So we can use 0.1. 0, 0 1.0.0.0 um, yeah but we use now 1.0 and we also can select an image um, let's see if I can find an image um let's see there's okay I use that right now and now we have two options in the last week I showed you um, how to install skins in the word format but now the best option is to install it into the raw format so what we do is right now click on this button and we go now into this path and now we're here and we see ghost taker room and this heads folder you only need to select ghost taker room and click this button after that just click on create and after that phantom loaded the skin into his mods folder so if we go into here, you can see it's packed into a zip file. After that, we can install it. Okay, done. So now let's test out if it's working or not. Okay, so you can see we're now in loading screen and it's changed and in game you can see the changes so we have loaded now the custom skin 
um, we are installation button and we created now an old skin and yeah so that's for the video i hope you enjoyed um, if you have questions put it in the comments like subscribe whatever and we see us in the next video bye bye Please, this trigger.